Hi guys, Dr. Lavin. So today our medical life hack is going to be about exercise and its impact on memory. So we know traditionally many of our patients have been using things like Sudoku and other activities such as crosswords to improve their memory or at least maintain their memory. The basis of that is the understanding that the brain is actually a muscle and therefore by exercising this we should be able to see an improvement. Now what doesn't come so commonly is the understanding of why exercise can improve that. The easiest way to understand this is by thinking about the muscle tissue, so thinking about your legs for example. As we exercise, as we do more and more walking, we potentially produce new blood vessels known as collaterals. Now these new blood vessels are nice and fresh and we should give our body a lot of respect because over time we can put our body through trauma, so various things like high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes and especially things like smoking can potentially damage those blood vessels. Now what's interesting is if we keep exercising we can actually produce these new blood vessels and therefore have a nice good flow. That concept should be brought back onto the brain and thinking about by improving exercise we should hopefully be able to produce new blood vessels that can therefore supply the brain with fresh blood and thereby helping. Now there's been research done in America where they've actually proved this and found that areas that involve memory and thinking have actually improved in size or increased in size due to the fact that people have been doing exercise. So our medical life hack today is if you are considering trying to keep your memory stable or at least improved starting at a young age it is very very good to exercise because we can actually improve the size of that area that is involved in memory and thinking and therefore doing exercise is a wonderful way of doing that. Thank you for watching.